What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be doing a gameplay with the new Bradley Beal card in NBA 2K20 on my team. So this is one of the throwback moments cards. I can't remember what year, I'm pretty sure this was a picture on a Bradley Beal card. I can't remember what year it was. 19 maybe? 20? I don't know. But um, I'm pretty sure... This was a Bradley Beal card in another year. Either way, I could be, I'm likely wrong. But, um, yeah, so, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We put more My Team content here than anywhere else. And unfortunately, unfortunately, we are on current gen. Huge shout out to OG underscore backpack PSN um, for letting me use his account. Again, he's let me use his account a few times. It's a huge, huge help. But unfortunately, the game is region locked on current gen. Oh, sorry, not on current gen, on next gen, which is very, very annoying. Like, because unless I'm using an account of a European on PlayStation, I can't play on next gen. Thankfully, thankfully, the Xbox isn't region locked, um, but the PlayStation is. It's It's been a weird thing, like, last year, if you logged in in a different region, it was, it used to just completely destroy your auction house. Um, if, if it was on PlayStation, I don't know what 2K have done, and it's only with 2K for other games. 2K have decided to put some weird region lock to put some like max amount of accounts on a console like that lock that they've put on to um the game i don't know why they even did it i think it was maybe to stop people coin transferring but it's completely com completely just ruined the game in terms of like if i went over to north america um i wouldn't be able to even play the game on my console it's a really it's just the weirdest thing ever if i brought my con if i if you move continent and bring your console with you you may not be able to play like, it doesn't make sense at all but Sure, look, it is what it is. It's just a flaw in the game. But, um, yeah, so six foot three, two guards. He's a very, very undersized. 15 half badges, no half range. He's a half quick first step, half hot zone hunter. Also got Lob City passer, gold, clamps, gold, cross key score. So, he's got gold range and gold steady. Steady obviously makes him better on next gen because it's blinders, but 95 driving layup, 94 three ball. Decent dunk, good ball handle. His all around stats are pretty good. Like 88 9 speed, 88 speed of body, 90 acceleration. Pretty decent. And 87 lateral quickness. Like, he's decent, but like, when we're talking about comparable cards, let's see if see a buyout. Like, I reckon all these guys should be buyouts right, straight away. I don't think there should be any reason for these guys to be over 100k. Because the Clay Thompson's not going to be that good. He's 200k. He's probably gonna be. He's probably not gonna be a buyer. And like, let's have a look at some point. Guard, some similar to level two guys. Like he's obviously. Um, like he's not as good as Jared Smith. I'm saying that right now. He's just not as good. He's not. He's barely even as. Not even as good stats wise. And obviously Jr. has got half range, which is a big, big, big difference maker. He's not as good as. He's not gonna be as good as Rudy Fernandez. He's not. Is he gonna be much better than Aaron Flalo? Obviously he's got more total. He's got more goal or Hall of Fame badges, but. I mean, we're looking attributes-wise. Flawless probably better attributes-wise. I still think I'm going to give the edge to Beal because of his release, but... Yeah, um... That's not ideal. But, uh, yeah, so now we're going to try uh, him out. Just go over his hot sounds and animations. Then we are going to get on to... Um, a gameplay. So, Bradley Beal. He's got hot zones everywhere. He's got one cold zone in the corner, which is really, really weird. He's got pro three, which is good. One problem is his release is on normal timing. Like, it's decent. It's still Ray Allen base. Like, it's very similar to, like, a Kawhi Leonard, but normal timing at this stage is quite slow. Like, there are... I'd take most releases on quick timing over most releases on normal timing. Although, it is a pretty... It's a pretty greenable release. On both gens, Ray Allen base is a release that I really do like, so... I can't... I don't believe... Actually, Ray Allen on quick might be as good as last year. But last year, Ray Allen base was just different because that on half quick draw, oh my god, it was just different, lads. It was different. It was so good. He feels kind of slow. Decent behind the back. Let's see what the dunk animations are like. I'm not sure if he gets uh, flashy dunks. He maybe does. Didn't get one there. All right, let's go for one more. See if he get it. No, I, I don't think there's any of them are showtime. Either way, it doesn't matter too much. He has the normal... Is that the normal two escape? No, that's between the legs I just did there. I 
Okay, it's normal too, I guess. It's very slow though. It is slow. Okay, he's dribbling. Uh, I mean, he can't really move that well. Nor normally with all these recent cards, I'm talking about how well they move. I mean, he doesn't move that well. He's just slow in a lot of things he does. So, um, yeah, this card should be okay, I guess. So, anyway, now it's Grimm 3. And, come on. Come on, this is Ray Allen base. Come on, we gotta be better than this. That's a full bar. Now, let's get on to the game. So, I don't know how I feel really about this guy. I think he's gonna be okay. I don't see him being any better than um, Alan Houston, who's basically the same card as him, but three inches taller, or two inches taller. I don't really see how he's going to be much better than an Allen Houston card. I'm guessing it's a TT offline lineup. Um, you know what? Let's go T Mac. He is a two. Let's go him. And uh, let's give me big Anthony Davis. We got to go with, with two really good players around him. T Mac is so nice, though. On this gen, T Mac is unreal. I'm a massive, massive fan of um, current gen Tracy McGrady. I don't mind him on next gen. I really don't mind about next gen, but um, I am a way bigger fan of current gen T-Mac than I am next gen T-Mac. That's all I'm going to say. All right, let's see who we're coming up against. Obviously, we're stuck on 70% right here. Okay, so he's being matched up to Clyde. That's actually not a bad matchup, and considering the fact um, he's got Peg, so we should be okay. Although, this is a sweat name. This is a sweat name, so if you see XX on a name and a bunch of upper and lower case, um, with the old Bebo writing, you know they're sweat. Oh, burn him, spin dunk. Absolutely needless spin layup right there. That was just, um, I was just completely, com that was just a flex, a flex spin layup. It was absolutely needless. Clamp him. Good defense there, Bradley Beal. Um, snatch back. That's his range, isn't it? It's a good contest. And it's off, big board, AD. He's not going to get the boost, is he? L2. That's wide open, and it's green by Bradley Beal. Let's go. All right. The release is nice. The release is nice. I'll be the first to admit that. The release is nice. Okay, let's just wait. Paints it. Shoot that, please. If you can green on Pell Gasol, fair play. Congratulations. You deserve every basket you get if you can green him. Okay, that was just dumb. Why, why I picked up my dribble there. It's wide open. And that is a good white right there. Big white. All right, let's go. Let's just stick on him. Stick on him and run back. We're good. We're good. Okay. We're fine. Just paints it. Good defense, AD. Oh, it's open. That's way off. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Just get into a position where I can boost because he's not going to pre pressure up on me at all. Lane. Oh, step back. Green light, let's go, Bradley Beal. That was a nice look right there. 10 nil start to the game. I am badly delayed right here. Like, I literally, I just shot that one off instinct. I guessed when to release the ball. I'm playing on a PS5 controller and a PS5, so there's a little bit of input delay. It's not the it's not the most noticeable, like it's very, very minor delay, but like when you come from playing on PS5, you notice when there's a bit of delay in what you're doing. Alright, let's give him the ball. We got him from mid. No we didn't. Big pass into AD. Run outside, run outside, run outside. It's a shot, and that's green from Bradley Beal. Let's go. I like the release. It isn't. It is not fast by any means. Like it is not the fastest release by any means, but it's really good. Can't lie, this is a release that I think is very, very is going to be insane when it goes on quick. When we start seeing players at Ray Allen base on quick, I'm telling you, that's a. It's going to be a game changer. Quick stop. That's a decent look. Probably dribbled a little bit too much. 
Do I just get an anchor breaker animation? As we go right to the basket, good defense there. Jeremy Grant's a lockdown defender, wide open three. Oh my god, that delay is grim. I was like, I was pretty sure, like, I couldn't even see the meter. I was like, I, I've let go and it's still going. <laughs> that was a good green right there. It's fine, no, it's not a big deal. It just means I have to shoot off instinct with him. And shooting off instinct is not the... Not the hardest thing to do, you can get used to it. Should probably take meter off. Which I'm going to do right now. Um, shot meter off. Like, if meter's delayed, we might as well not play with it. This is reminds me of playing Xbox in 20. That's slightly early, but it's good. Good shot there by Veal. Let's go. Let's go. And without the meter, I really am not... I've really not shot enough of them that I can be comfortable with his release. Green that, please. There we go. Big green right there for Bradley Bill. 22 points right there. 22 to 5. Man, it's cash. It's it's cash. There's no doubt about that. I said it in the Allen Houston gameplay. The release is cash. I don't think anyone can really argue that Bradley Beal's release is not exceptional in my team. I don't think anyone can really argue that. Like, 6-9 from 3, 8-13 from the field, 22 points. He's just... It's just the other things that he doesn't do as well. Like, he's just a smaller Allen Houston. Like, I, he's got Pro 3 behind the back. So, I will admit, um, things probably better on next gen. Beal's probably better on next gen because Allen Houston's got Pro 5. And Pro 5 is like the worst behind the back in the game on next gen. So, it's a weird one. It's like, I think on current gen, I'm going to take Houston over Beal. On next gen, I think I take Beal over Houston. Either way, though, they're both way overpriced. They're about way, way overpriced. There's no... I get it, they're locking for Clay, but Clay is going to be at least 800k MT. Clay is going to be more expensive than Anthony Davis. I'm telling you, Clay is not going to be better than Anthony Davis. I'm telling you, Clay is not going to be better. Even if they give Clay the Curry slide, unless they take away Clay Thompson's base, he's not going to be as good as... Um, what's his name? Terry Dishinger. But uh, yeah, so Bradley Beal, I like him. I do like him. It's just... The problem is, is that he's going to be very expensive because he's a throwback moments card. If this was a 35k diamond card, we'd be looking at it completely differently. If he was a 35k diamond card, we would say, you know what, he's as good as an Eddie Jones. He's as good as Rudy Fernandez, Or, well, he's almost as good as Rudy Fernandez. Unfortunately, this is not a 35k diamond card. This is a guy that's going to be about 150k, and it's a pink diamond card. So, if you're a big Wizards fan, it's a good card. And I'm not going to say that... Um, He's going to be an unusable player because he's not. He's not going to be unusable at all. I just think that he's going to be very, very expensive for what he is. And what he is is just a, another bang average two guard in this game. So anyway, yeah, that is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.